Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. I'm Chris Horner. This is stage four of Tour of the Bass Country. By now, you guys know this was a nightmare stage here for all of the riders here at the European Peloton and a very difficult moment for a lot of the family and good friends of the riders who have crashed here in this stage four of the Bass Country. I'm doing the Butterfly Effect for one reason and one reason only today. A lot of times when we're watching the race live, we'll hear the race organizers with Carlton Kirby, Brian Smith, who I'm watching, and they'll talk about how difficult it is, and they're true. It is a very difficult moment to cover such a crash that we saw here on stage four. And then a lot of times the fans had written in saying that it's wrong for the race organizers to show the crash. Well, I got a text from my wife while I was sitting on the couch, and she said she believes just the opposite. She was there, of course, in 2011 when I crashed at the Tour de France, and she was back home. At that time, she was my girlfriend then, but we had been dating since 2005, so a very long time. And she said the most information that she can get was watching the live footage of the race, and that was the most information that could relieve her of some kind of pain and suffering while she's at home, wondering what, how, how and what kind of condition I'm in. How bad is it and what kind of condition I was in at that 2011 Tour de France. And she says when she's watching here at stage four and she's reading all the press and everyone writing in talking about how they don't need to see the vi video footage. She says the video footage was the only way that she can tell that I was okay. And she says her words, not mine, that that was the most important information she can get was from the live coverage of the video footage because of course there was no way to avoid telephone calls in Texas. She had NBC texting her directly after the crash, asking her uh, all kinds of information about me, but she didn't even have that information. And everything she was getting quickly that she was getting to relieve her of her pain and suffering was seeing me get up and back on my bike in that 2011 Tour de France crash. And so she wants it to be known that a lot of times the family and friends that are home that race footage is the only thing that can relieve them of the pain faster. And when we see the crash of the dozen riders going down, we know that the video footage will get home to your significant other faster than any other information can. I can remember her telling me stories where Johan Bernil called her and then his telephone had died after he said, Megan, it's Johan Bernil. It's Chris. Chris's crash and it was bad and then his phone died. So all of her real information to relieve her pain and suffering was from the live video footage. So anytime when you start seeing a crash, the more footage that they can show, it's actually better for the family and friends that are at home watching the race to know that when Jonas Vinigo lift his leg today, to know that he's not paralyzed, that he's still alive, that he's still moving. It's important to know when you see Primoz Roglic get in the car and give the thumbs up that you know Primoz Roglic is okay. It's important to see if you're a fan of Rimko Ebnepul and you're his wife, that when you see him stand up and start walking, that you know Rimko Ebnepul's coming home after this stage four here tour of the Basque Country nightmare stage four, but Rimko Ebnepul is going to come back home to his wife. So the more footage they can show live, the more relieved the family members will be when it's all said and done. Hope this helps you guys understand for the loved ones at home that they need this, and I'll see you guys for stage five of the tour of the Basque Country.